Welcome back, heroes, to some more Pokemon Purple Shine. Last episode, we put on a Team Rocket disguise, infiltrated the Team Rocket base, went through many, many traps, which are super annoying, teamed up with Mew, took down Armored Mewtwo and Giovanni, which was a little bit tough, and then the whole building collapsed. Giovanni got arrested, and we were not happy with that. We wanted to kill Giovanni. Our characters turned a little bit evil, but speaking of characters turning evil, Mist... Apparently something's up with Mist. Uh, we spoke to the Team Rocket admin, he's like, oh yeah, Mist has got like a master plan he's been doing since the start playing us. And we need to uh, put a stop to Mist, not sure what he's doing at the moment. But what we need to do is, I think, go to Vegas first to get a piece of sheet music. Because if we come up here, to Route 24, there's a mansion we can go in. And there's just a piano here. It's a ma magnificent grand piano and there doesn't seem to be any other piece of furniture in the house. Yeah, so we need to go get the sheet music and then come back here and I assume maybe play it and then something will happen so let's make our way to Vegas which is down here and see if we can find out where it is I assume it's in the area that was was it over here was it this one I remember like a bar area I think do love the music here it's pretty cool but let me like run around see if I can find the right place because I'm pretty sure we can't Go into any of these places yet. Casino is reserved for a certain clientele. You're too young to enter, but I'm the champion, man. I can do what I want. All right, let me look around and see if I can uh, find out where this sheet music is. All right, this place is so big, but if we go up here... Get a little bit lost, man, trying to run around. And we can speak to this guy outside this uh, important-looking building. Yo, hello, sir. I see you have the uh, Valsegas uh, gym badge. Welcome. All right. Let's uh, find this sheet music then, shall we? Hello, I'm Walters. I'm a professional better. Would you like to try your luck? We're flipping a coin. And the bet is 5,000 poker dollars. Are you in? I'll play heads, you play tails. Yeah, let's do it. I'll flip the coin. Heads, I win. Ah oh, man. Just lost 5,000. <laughs> Hello, I sell items in exchange for tokens. Are you interested? I mean, the lucky egg would be kind of nice. What else can we do around here? Hello, I sell items in exchange for tokens. Oh, no. What did you sell? Rare candy, 9,199. Hello, young man. It's rare to see such a young person in this club. You must be an exceptional trainer. I'm the best trainer, man. I'm the champion. Well, uh, I want to talk to everyone just in case like, we can find something cool, but uh, what do you sell? Probably gone for 7,000. Uh, stop, old man. Uh, hello, young man. My name is Ludwig, and I'm a great music lover. I'd be delighted to share some of my passion with you. So I'm entrusting you with a sheet of music. Oh, it's one of my favorites. Chopin's Nocturne. Put to good use. So I think that's the bit of music we needed. But we'll uh, finish exploring this place first, just in case there's something else we can get. And whoa, you sell lots of TMs. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go back here. What we got? Sorry, you already six Pokemon on your team. Come back when you have room. Oh, okay. Uh, let me go and box something. We'll come back. Just gonna do this a little bit quicker. There you go. <laughs> All right, free Pokemon, man. Not sure what we're gonna get, but I ain't gonna say no to free stuff. Free stuff is best stuff, man. Let's box this Mew. I think I'll probably take Mew with me against Mist. That's if we do battle Mist. I assume we're gonna battle Mist. Let's go back up top. Unless it's like Pokemon we're gonna get is pretty awesome. Please be really good. Free Pokemon, man, what we got? Uh, it's a bit special, I got him from one of my workers who looks after my Eevee. I think I'll be very happy with you if you take good care of him. Oh! Well, it's an Eevee, I mean, still, still good. Kinda wish it was like, something a lot better, but <laughs> I'll have to do. Right, so let's uh, fly back to Route 22. And we're gonna just get healed up, be ready. Let me just check the Eevee, just in case. Level 30, yeah. Might just level like 100 Eevee. <laughs> Might have to use that. Oh, it's a shiny Eevee as well. That's pretty sick. If I got that earlier on, oh, what evolution would I have made? I feel like I probably would have used it. Like, if it was a normal Eevee, I, I would have probably just left it in the box. But a shiny one? Yeah, I wouldn't mind using that. But anyway, we've got the sheet music. Let's go up here and see what's going to happen. Oh, I'm coming for you, Mist. You better not have betrayed me. So 
So hidden door opens at the back of the room. Okay. Oh! This is the Team Rocket admin who was at the Crowsville hideout. It's not moving and appears to have been tortured. What the hell is going on here? What the hell? Missed, man! Oh, yeah, what did you do? Well, this is a surprise. I wasn't expecting to see you again so soon, Voltsy. What the hell is all this? Explain yourself, damn it. Sorry, Voltsy. I'm really sorry you feel duped. But look, we had a common goal, and we couldn't have done it without each other. So what are you doing in this laboratory, and why did you need me? I don't understand anything anymore. Calm down. I'll explain everything. Go on. I'm listening. So your objective was simple. To dismantle Team Rocket and get back at Giovanni. I mean, it was to get our Pokemon back, but okay. I wanted to get the results of their genetic research. I was also indirectly involved in the project, so I knew what it was all about. You participated? It's a bit complicated, but to put it simply, through the intermediary of shell companies, Giovanni was able to entrust certain parts of the research to private laboratories and independent scientists. We didn't know exactly what we were looking for. Uh, we simply had to follow predefined protocols. But I managed to piece together a fragment of information which enabled me to discover that Team Rocket was behind it all. All of this. And that's when we met. Shortly afterwards, yes. So, what you told me then was... A lie, of course. I wasn't going to trust a stranger. But you thought you could use me to infiltrate and retrieve data. It makes for an unpleasant role, but yes. That's more or less it. So far, I'm with you, but what next? It's so simple. I discovered what I was looking for in the first lab. But I needed you to create a diversion in the main hideout to recover all the data. But for what? You see, Giovanni was a megalomaniac, using everyone to create a creature that would allow him to rule the continent. He was a disgusting individual, but he was untouchable because he was powerful. Now imagine if someone even more powerful had stopped him before his madness caused so much suffering and eliminated him in the first place. You want to kill him? Maybe, but that's... Too radical? Face it, it's the only way to wipe out the vermin swarming our soil. What happened once you were defeated? Tell me. Was it satisfying? The police arrived and... You see? It doesn't satisfy you. It's not justice. This is a diversion on the part of those in power to make us believe that the bad guys are out of the way and that we're safe. I've decided to use the research potential of Team Rocket to create the ultimate Pokemon. Powerful enough to detect anyone deemed dangerous. A radical justice system. An effective preventive method. So I can't let you do this. I can't pretend you're wrong. Uh, but your power-hungry eyes persuade me not to allow you to go through with your ambitions. Ah, if only you joined me. A little help would have been nice in my noble endeavor. But either way, if you decide to stand in my way, I'm going to have to eliminate you right here. I'm so sorry. Oh, I should have maybe bought some revives and stuff. I don't think I've got any left, but we'll give this a go. So what Pokemon are you going to try and create that's, like, better than Mewtwo? You've got Snorlax. That's absolutely fine for us. That's close combat, that bad boy. Go on, one shot at Infernape. Go on, Infernape. Go on, Infernape. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, so weak. Earthquake. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Okay, you're 100% going to heal up. So, I am going to Leech Seed. Yep, there's the full restore. And then we'll go Sleep Powder. Keep you asleep for a little bit. Oh, you got a berry. That's kind of annoying, but another Sleep Powder. Nice. And while you stay asleep, I'm going to check if I've got any items. I've got Full Restores, I've got Hypers. Do I have Revives? I have no more Revives. Oh, that's not good. That is really not good. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. I've just got to try my best to win this fight. That Sludge Bomb... Fire punch, that's fine, nice. Snorlax is down. And if I lose it, I can always just come back. It's not a big issue. Um, Porygon, I'm gonna stay in. I'm gonna sleep powder first. Oh, I might die if I try attack. Yep, that's not good. Alright, uh, Magina, you got this. Ice Beam. That's fine, we take a few. Thunderbolts. No, the paralysis. No, I got paralyzed in the same turn. All right, got a full restore. That's so annoying. If I can get the freeze from Ice Beam. Come on. Freeze, freeze, freeze. I'm going to play it safe and just heal up. Oh, you're switching out to Metagross. Uh, that's 
fine, I guess. We've got Shadow Ball. Oh, it's a Mega Metagross. And you got Earthquake, of course you do. That's not good. Alright. Let's go Haunch Crow. Hope you go for Earthquake again. Send Headbutt. Doesn't affect us. That's still good. Alright, Night Slash. You got Ice Punch. I'm probably dead. Oh, dude. I don't know if I can win this. Um. Mew? Metronome? <laughs> Get lucky? I mean, not the worst? Oh, there's no way I'm winning this. I need, like, Infernape to go for a, uh, a flamethrower or something. I can't win this. It's fine, let me get some revives and stuff. Maybe do a little bit of grinding, that would definitely help, because it was 79. And then we'll come back and uh, do this again. Okay, we're back. I've done a lot of grinding for a lot of items, so hopefully we can do this. I think the only issue I'm going to have is the Mega Metagross. So we'll see what happens when it comes to it. So, we definitely 100% should one-shot this Snorlax with close combat. It almost died before and I've grown so many levels, it should 100% die. There's no way it lives. If it lives, I'll be shocked. Nice. Alright, one down. Many more to go. Okay, so I'm going to assume that Metagross is coming out next. Yep, Metagross. Uh, let's go into Haunch Crow. It's now level 77. Hopefully, can do some stuff. Get a Dark Pulse here. Not sure if Dark Pulse is better than Night Slash. I'm going to test it out now. We outspeed you, so we get the flinch. It's not too bad. There's a lot of damage. Alright, so another Dark Pulse. Nope. I don't outspeed you then. Okay, uh. Can I outspeed you with Infernape? Flamethrower? I can! Nice! Woo! Go on, kill it, kill it, kill it! Mega Metagross is no longer an issue. Nice. Right. I bought a Velto as well. I thought Luxray's taking a long time to grind. Anyone else we can bring in from the box that could help? And a Velto will do. Dark Pulse. Focus Blast shouldn't kill us, right? Yeah. A Velto, baby! Too good, Gengar? Oh, yeah, man. Dark Pulse, you missed the Hypnosis! Oh, bringing the Veltor was definitely the right call. Then we're just gonna go close combat. Fantastic. Then Dragonite, easy peasy, Ice Beam, yeah, we win. Oh, a Shiny Dragonite, nice! Okay, go Dragon Dance. Don't think that should be an issue unless you got Earthquake. But it doesn't even matter anyway, because we one-shot ya. And then we'll get level 70, right? So we! Oh, that grinding was so, so worth it. Ooh. <laughs> nice. So why are you trying to stop me? Can't you see I'm trying to make a real utopia possible? We have different thoughts of a utopia. So here I am. Already forced to use my precious weapon. Oh. Mew free? <laughs> oh, oh. It's like a Deoxys and a Mew 2. Tough luck for you. Oh damn, it is like Mew free. <laughs> Alright, uh, how tough is this going to be now? Do I get fully healed? I don't get fully healed, but we're pretty healed up as it is. Oh man, it's like Deoxys Mewtwo with like a... Is that like a Rayquaza tail there? Damn, okay. Um, flamethrower? You're gonna Ice Beam me. That's fine. It's level 80, so it's a little scary. I'm gonna uh, revive Haunch Crow. Knock off, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna heal up Haunch Crow. And then we're just going to go Haunch Crow, and then we're going to... Let's go Dark Pulse. Come on, live, 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 live. Alright, it's not good. Ice Beam's going to also hurt a Veltol. But if I can get a Dark Pulse off... Go on, big damage. Come on, a Veltol. That was a crit? If that was normal damage, I'd be like, yeah, that's great. But for a crit, not... Not too good. If you're gonna keep knocking me off, that's... Oh, that's the Ice Beam. Oh, we lived! If you full restore this uh, Mewtwo, it's over. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna beat it. Go on. Oh, you are gonna do that! You're so annoying! I can't believe you're actually gonna be full restoring the Mewtwo. Alright, in that case, let me heal up. 
I'm gonna go for a revive. Get Horns Crow. Heal up again. I've gotta make sure everyone stays healthy. If you can run out of Ice Beams, then it would be fine. Just, yeah, I guess you pretty run out of knockoffs now, so I'm just gonna. There you go. Psychic Sweet. It might have to be a case of I draw this fight out. We've got Earthquake. Okay. Sweet. If you've got no more Ice Beams, then we, we win. Like, if you didn't full restore. Tough battle as it is, but the fact you have full restores. It's kind of insane. Psychic. you got Struggle already. <laughs> I can't really, like, focus passing or anything, is it? Just heal up and win! Oh, oh dude, come on! <laughs> oh, can you imagine you can, like, disable struggle? I actually double check, can you do that? I doubt it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've got one HP left. At this point, I'll be struggling soon. Just heal up and... Psychic King. This thing's never dying. You know what? Let me close combat it. Nope, I thought a little bit more. Flamethrower, maybe? Still not bad damage. Leech Seed! Yeah, try full restore now. Yeah, that's what I thought. Haha! <laughs> Oh man, that was tough. Impossible. My dreams, my goals. Man, that was, uh, that was interesting. As of Giovanni's lab, all that power will bring the building down. Ooh. <laughs> Looks like it's the end of the road for me. Think carefully about what I've said. Then you'll know I was right. So, uh, do you want to save Mist? You'll not be able to reserve... I reverse your decision. Oh, okay. Uh, let me do this. Let me do this. I'm gonna just put a save state. Save the game there, and we'll we'll say no first. I'll be honest. I don't think you're wrong. Your shoulders were too fragile to take on such a burden. Too bad for you. Goodbye. Well, looks like it's over for me. After all, you were just like me, Faulty. I'll see you in hell. Oh, damn. Well, let's get to work. I've still got things to do. I'm taking over the job. Missed. Sleep tight. Ooh, okay. So that ending, we become evil. So let me just load the game. And then we'll see what happens if we say, yeah, we'll save him. So cut the crap. I'll help you get out of here. Don't think I'm going to let you uh, die easy. Who's escape rope? Hey. So thanks. I thought I was finished. You're finished. I call those policemen you like so much, they're probably already here. So let's go. You'll see, Voltsy. I won't be giving up on my goals anytime soon. We'll see each other again. So I've come a long way since Ivera Town, and even if it turned out badly, Miss was right about one thing. There are still some bad guys out there that I can stop. Look at me, Dad. I've grown up a lot. So that's the good ending. I like that, two different endings for uh, the game. That's actually really cool. It was, it was a pretty decent game, man. Really like this. But uh, oh man, the, the like wait, do I have to press A? Anything? Oh. Wait. Oh, it's like a it's, um credit's gotta press A through, I think. But uh, yeah, the credit pictures look sick. But yeah, man, I, I like playing these like completed ROM hacks. The story's just so intense. That final battle was pretty tough, but all the grinding we did was definitely, definitely worth it. But I'll let the credits roll, and I'll see you guys for many, many more playthroughs. Have a great day. Peace.